Michael, playmaker, how hot is Mike McCarthy's seat this season? You know, my boy Stephen A. called me when he told me he had this interview. He's trying to go to dinner. And I, of course, I was here working, and, and, and he, he said, wait till you check out the show. Wait till you check out who I interviewed. And he was telling me about it. Now, now, how hot do I consider Mike McCarthy's seat? I will call it a mild simmer right now going on. That's about what's going on right now. Because we, we like to do this at Dak, and we like to do this with Mike McCarthy, too. Let's talk about this. Mike McCarthy went, was, was with the Packers. Mm -hmm. His record at the Packers, 125-77. Mm -hmm. That's 618 mm -hmm. winning percentage. Very good career. That's a good career there. Mm -hmm. Then he goes to the Cowboys five years, 42 and 25. That's 627. Very, very great career. That's a winner. Ooh, put them Over together. all 18 years, 167, 102 and 2. Six, that's a 620 yeah. winning percentage. Uh -huh. He's a winning mm -hmm. coach. Yes. He's a correct. winning coach. Where he has faltered, and, and, and the issue is, it's the same place where Dak has faltered. He's 11 11 in playoffs. That's two and five, and that's where these things have to change. So when I say a mild simmer, and, and oh yeah, it, will, will he get, he won't get cut. He only, he's not going to get fired during the season. We'll be here, he'll be here, because the test is really going to come where he has that 11-11 record. That's the key right there. He'll get through this season, but he has to get through that playoff, and I'm not just talking about one playoff win. You got to get to a championship game before we start bringing them questions back up about Deion Sanders. I really like Mike McCarthy. Yeah, I like you. him too. I think Mike McCarthy gets way too much yes, he does. Uh, heat. I don't think he should be on the hot seat at all. I think he's Correct. done a tremendous job in Dallas. And he's a Super Bowl winning head coach, which are mm -hmm. hard to come by. Super Bowl winning head coach. And that, that's exactly. why I have to give numbers, because when these guys get it, yeah, oh around, my God, talking, I got to try to go in on, give people, give people some context. Give them some context. This is about no numbers. right, though. This is really about Jerry. This is about Jerry Jones. He... I also don't like having coaches on expiring deals. What is he on? He's on an expiring deal. Oh, is it? When is it going to expire? <laughs> this year. year. Well, go on, Joe. I, I, just well, I was saying I don't like it because I don't like people coaching for right now. I, as a head coach, mm. I think mm. you have to prepare for the future while you focus on right now. And if you are put in a position where you're coaching for your job, you're going to make different decisions that may end up harming the team in the future because you're making decisions for right now. So I don't think it's good business to put people in that position. I don't think Mike McCarthy should be in that position. I think he's a winning coach. And I also, I mean, we can, we can you know, derail this entire conversation into coaches, but I don't like shifting coaches around all the time. I think coach, the coaching carousel is really crazy. They don't give people Stay with time it. to establish a culture. When they do get a culture, they start panicking. He's a winning head coach. Yep. He's, a, he's a good leader. And he put Dak in position to have the best year of his entire career last year yep. offensively. He's a all pro and an MVP finalist. So uh, to me, right. I, I think the entire conversation about Mike McCarthy is crazy. Number the fact one, that he POTUS. Be in number one, POTUS. If I said the oh, 33 man. hardest jobs, number one to be POTUS, but two to 33 gonna all be here NFL head coaches. Mm -hmm. Most Very pressure hard. job. Most yeah. pressure yeah, job. Pressure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Pressure, pressure is a part of the job. Yes. That's just the yeah. reality of it. So, oh, so yes, he he has to he has to feel pressure. Yeah. I don't care if he got a one year deal or a four year deal. You got to feel pressure yeah. in this league uh -huh. every that year. Man, yeah. That, that man got a hibachi. <laughs> Benny Benny <Hanna. laughs> table seat. That man ain't gonna he be able to no. sit down. On, that man he got a hibachi Benny Hanna table seat. Listen, this ain't about it. I understand the numbers. Sixty six percent win percentage over here. Did this in Green Bay and Dallas and 11 11 in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. What did they bring him over here to do in Dallas? Get him to the Super yeah, Bowl. Super. Get him to the Super Bowl. Right? Or at least get him to the NFC Championship game. Has he done either of those? Nada. No. Nada. And how many years he's been over there now? This five. is five. Five years. And Key, what do you predict their record in the first seven games? Uh, I got him at, uh, let me see, hold on. Two Let's... and five? Three and uh, six? Yeah, yeah, two and five. That's a, just a prediction, though. That's hey, just a, a prediction. Boy. I could be wrong. When he, when he no, sit no, down, it's okay, Michael. When, hey, look, boy, it's in week seven, when, <laughs> week seven, when he sit down, I'm going to throw some shrimp, some fried rice <laughs> on there. <laughs> well, I mean, if Key is right, <laughs> yes. You will, you will be able to cook an entire meal on that seat. Just shrimp, like you can on these L.A. streets <laughs> today. Joy, you, you asked me. How high I mean, is you, 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 you said that you don't like coaches being fired and this and that. I'm not fired, but... You know, not on expiring contracts. I, I, I don't, like, that I don't game, like having right? people on expiring contracts. Yeah, because it's unfair to him. 
It's unfair. No, I think right? I just don't think it's good business. I don't not think it's good, good business. business to have people in positions where they're making decisions only oh. for right now, not okay. the head coach, because you you have to make decisions for now and for next year. And right now, you're only coaching for your job for right now, for in the moment. And, and who makes but, that decision? The owner, right? Yeah. Jerry. Jerry, Jerry made that decision because Jerry don't value him mm. the same way you value him. That's why he has one year. And I love you to death. You love me, Michael. I love you, man. So stop yeah. lying to me <laughs> right now in front of all buddy. these people. Sitting well, I, here telling me. Lying? You just said his, his, you just told me. His seat is lukewarm. It's simmering. It's, yeah, it's mild That simmering. means all the way down. <laughs> that means simmering. all the way. You know that big simmering, old range you got the choice? the lowest you can get. Mild. Yeah, that big old I, I range. I put mild in front of that. that, 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 that <laughs> I so, put mild before I put simmering. So that's really so, like. Right. That's Really, really light. It's that big that's range weird. you got at home turned it all the way you, down. You can't cook nothing that simmer. The no, you can't. Has, that's, <laughs> no, no, he's but not hold cooking. on. That's but, right, but you're right. right. He's not cooking. Yeah, he's cooking. We're his warming record, him up. His, <laughs> record, his, record, his record speaks for itself. Though. That's all I'm saying. No, his record, but, his but record speaks for itself. But the playoff record. So what I'm telling you guys is w this will be determined Have in you, the playoffs. Michael. So all of Michael? that you guys are trying to say about even with fire here. No, no this will no, be determined in the playoffs. Ain't nobody new fire there. What are you talking about? This will be determined in the playoffs. It's all about the playoffs, right? Yes. That's what it's going to be about. She asked about the seat. The seat, he ain't got no seat because he's standing. If he sit his ass down, it's going to stick to his buns. <laughs> it's burning up, flaming. <laughs> you know why? I got these shrimp ready. Or, I got this OK, so rice. then you say him and Dak, you say him and Dak is in the same situation, basically, right? Right. right. They got to they got get better in the playoffs. They have to get a better. So they, so they basically in the are in the same That's, situation. Right. So, so right. So you're, you're agreeing with me no, that I'm this not, thing's no, going I'm to go not, to the playoffs. They're not in the same situation. He can't be in a burning they not, seat. They're they not a in the same situation. burning seat said I may lose it in the first quarter of the season. It, they, Michael? He in a burning They're seat. not in the same situation. <laughs> and the reason they're not in the same situation, because there's constant dialogue going on, as you know, with the quarterback on an extension. There ain't no dialogue going on with no Mike McCarthy on no extension, okay? That's why we're having a conversation. So they're not in the same situation. The owner said, hey, we ain't even thinking about no extension for you right now. You got to prove yourself as a head coach to get us where we want to go. Now let's turn to the schedule. So now you say Jerry does want Dak. Now before y'all were saying Jerry don't want Dak, why are you put him through all of this? No, no, no. Now I, you ain't say he said, I ain't never said he didn't want him. I ain't never said he didn't want him. You just are tied together. I'm no, getting confused. No, they not. He's yes, talking yes. to Dak about a contract. He may pull it off the table or he might extend it. That's not the conversation right now. The conversation is Mike McCarthy and his job. Now you talk about the schedule in the playoffs. You got to win enough games to get into the playoffs to even have a chance to go to the NFC Championship game to get a third, a fourth Super Bowl, a uh, fifth Super Bowl, sixth Super You can't even do it. You're going to lose to Cleveland in week one. You now got New Orleans that you'll probably beat. You got to go to Baltimore. We saw Baltimore play last night. We know that's going to be legit. You're going to lose to them. You can beat the Giants. You're going to lose to Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh. Detroit going to pop you. You get a bye. At that point, Mike Zimmer, Come on with us, man. He is not. You it's really just, believe that Jerry Jones is going to fire Mike McCarthy midseason? No, he doesn't. I wouldn't no, say it if I didn't believe it, Michael. You don't want to believe it. hyperbole. No, you don't want to believe it. The reason you don't want to believe it, the reason you don't want to believe it, because he only did it one time to Wade Phillips when Wade Phillips was one and seven. <laughs> what I just gave you ain't now, far Mike from McCarthy one and seven. Mike McCarthy one and seven then. That's a no, 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 no. You ain't going to get, you ain't going to get to get to seven, even get to eight. That's all I'm trying to tell you. If, I, if I'm looking at this, you correct. You got to get in the lane, man. You all so over lost. the track. How you got to get in one how lane. How am I all, all over the, the place? Track. You're tell all over me. the track. You're, you're I'm not even going to get so, there. Uh, so, OK, let's say your prediction is correct. So you're saying that they're going to be what? So you, you got one, two, three, four. You two and four before the bye. Before the bye. Before the bye, then guess where you go? You go to Bolsa and Purdy and Debo mm -hmm. and IU. In McCaffrey. Ooh. So you go, you Jerry Jones gonna go back to Dallas at two and six and play Atlanta? 
So oh, you, actually, he got to go to Atlanta. So you, all of that to say, at two and six, he's going to be fired. That's what your predictions are. Yeah, okay, I'm, well, I'm going to stick with that prediction. You, you, I ain't, you ain't change You ain't going to convince nobody here, and you certainly ain't confusing anybody. Well, you're confusing me, but that's okay. You know, that's yeah, all. We can just leave it right there. Say, right, right there. Right there. Two and six, and he's getting fired. That's what he said, and we'll check that. Y'all hold on to those receipts. <laughs> hold on so, to those receipts. So if you two and six, he going to keep me? What, what, so you no, two no, and six, no, no, we, ain't to, we ain't got to have that discussion here. What? Jerry Jones will have it with him okay. at two and six if they get the two, two and six. At two and keep six. his receipts. Two we keep the receipts. Two and six Keep the receipts. Oh, I'm the Dallas Cowboys. At two and four, four, whatever you say. Whatever you say, we're going to see. It's hard to imagine, but I do yeah. think he has a I think we're he has gonna a see hot for the entirety of the season. My, I don't yeah, think they're going to be that bad. I, I understand. I understand it's your similar. loyalty. No, 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 no. I just want you to be right. I, I, I don't want. Right. I don't want you six weeks from now when I'm ca- calling for that receipt to be saying, "Oh, oh what, 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 what happened, Wolves?" What, what, I'm just saying because <laughs> I'm going to call for that receipt. Are in you six weeks. confident that the Cowboys are going to get the win on Sunday, Paul? <laughs> I'm not oh, confident. Oh, my goodness. Key, key over here convincing me I was. <laughs> Don't let me convince you. He He's saying it so me. loud and proud. I'm it not. doesn't mean it's true now. It's just loud oh, and proud. He, he, I'm he just telling me. you. He's oh. telling me on that one. Slow down. Slow down. I just want you. Let me, let me break it all the way down for you, Joy, because he, I can't. Uh, they go to Cleveland. I'm picking the Cowboys. Okay, but they go to Cleveland. Now you got to try somebody it's else. It's a very good <laughs> team. A good, Cleveland is a good team. Okay. They have a good defense. Good team, good I don't team. know necessarily what they're going to look like offensively yet. So Skip over New Orleans. We've seen Baltimore. I think they lose to Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. They beat the Giants. Okay. But but for me, they're 3-1 and one when they get to Pittsburgh. That's for you. Yeah. That's fine. That's I a, don't think they're going 3-1. and one. Because I don't think I think they start off. So that opinion, that opinion don't matter. Only what he extrapolates from you (laughs) to make his point right. Then it matters. But whenever you don't agree, he wants to say, that's okay, don't worry about that. Don't even count that. You can't do an argument like that. That's all I'm saying. You you think they're gonna be good then? I don't think they'll really be, be as good as they were you last gotta, year. I don't uh, think Dak is going to have the exact same numbers as last year. I think they take a, I think they take a slight step back. I still think that they make the playoffs. I think the Eagles win the division. I think they make the playoffs, and we'll see what happens in the playoffs. As far as this Mike is McCarthy a gauntlet, and the, the first six games, it is. Yeah, but it is. I just don't think that they're. It's a gauntlet, it's dude. It's a good schedule. That they're have you? Bad. Did you? Okay. Last year, mm-hmm. the Dallas Cowboys go on the road. Mm-hmm. They can't beat a team over 500. Okay. Then they finally, don't look at me, I smell you and I feel you. You know I'm, I'm telling I'm the truth. Listening, man. I'm they listening. couldn't beat a team over 500. You got them winning but, 10 but games. But looking, like, looking at the schedule just up into the right after the bye, right? If they beat the teams that they should beat, right? Hypothetically, they, uh-huh. beat, the, they beat the Saints, they beat uh-huh. the Giants, uh-huh. they beat the Steelers, based off of okay. what they were yeah. last go, year. Go, go, okay? go, go. So I, I think... Let's just say we'll, we'll leave week one up. We don't know. Okay. Is it, it can go either no, way. No, I know, but okay. So, okay, but let's say it goes either way, uh-huh. right? That could be the difference maker, really. Okay. Because if you're expecting them to lose to the Ravens, you're expecting them to lose to the Lions, you're expecting them to lose to the San Francisco 49ers, they're going to be even there depending on how this three game one goes. So, so you want them to be three and three, right? But it depends on how Cleveland goes. Okay. So I really, this they, game is actually very Cleveland. big if you're thinking it all the way I, I, I think it. I think it. Cleveland, and I want to mm-hmm. ask you another question. Mr. Irvin, you've been on a team that had, because we all have, lousy coaches to the point where everybody already knew. You ain't never been on an expiring contract coach, okay? But you knew a coach was probably going to be gone. When you have an expiring coach, and if it's predictions, my predictions are mm-hmm. right, or even close to being right, no matter what anybody says, that locker room starts to fall apart. Because they know he getting ready to be pushed out. But the locker room's not in that space right now. No, not today. I'm just telling you if it goes the way that I think it's going to go. Well, yeah. I mean, if they, if they start all of a sudden, six, it's the vibes, you, the vibes see, you, are going to be low. You have already. Come I'm on like, now, man. He over here just, like, he, he's just come up with his own story. I didn't come up with nothing. But you got to ask Did they, did they win against this. Cleveland? What's that? Did they win against Cleveland? I, I got them winning against Cleveland. Now, here. here. Miles yeah. Garrett, who's going to block him? What I'm, what I, what I'm, what I'm, wor- what I would have been worried about if Nick Chubb was back and, and that run game for mm-hmm. Cleveland was pounding again, because that's been uh, the Achilles' heels for Dallas for a while. Now yeah. Mike Zimmer's in now, and I know he's going to try to sure up that 14th ranked defense they had last year, you know, and try to make sure that 14th ranked rush defense anyway that they had to make sure that doesn't happen. But I think they beat Cleveland. I am worried, worried about Amari Cooper though. I am worried about him. Because we had Deron Bland being out, 
Trayvon yeah. Diggs, if he follows him, it'll shut it down. But but I am going to worry about Amari Cooper. Well, subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.